A long time ago, the southern coast of Singapore was infested by numerous fierce swordfish. The villagers and the fishermen were unable to ply their trades at sea, as they would be attacked by these fearsome beasts if they ever came close to the water. The people reported to the Prime Minister and the Sultan. They were at a loss as to how they could fight off the invasion of the swordfish. Immediately, the soldiers were sent by the Sultan, but the soldiers were outnumbered and could not overcome the swordfish. Up on a hill, not so far away, there was a little boy named Nadim, who observed the scene and had an idea to solve such a problem. He rushed to the Sultan and told him of his plan. He proposed that banana trunks be planted along the shore at low tide when the fish were away. The swordfish would attack the banana trunks and their sharp jaws would get stuck in the tree trunks. That way, those swordfish became an easy target for the Sultan's army. The Sultan ordered the Prime Minister to do exactly what Nadim had told him. The plan worked perfectly. Every low tide, the army would plant a new set of banana trunks, while every high tide, the swordfish would attack the trunks, mistaking them for humans, and get their jaws caught on the banana trunks. The people rejoiced, and Nadim was named their savior. The Sultan was very pleased with the boy, but not the prime minister. He felt threatened because he was outsmarted by the boy. One night, he told the Sultan that he had foreseen disaster. In his vision, the boy would take over the Sultan's place in the future. The Sultan was easily persuaded. He was anxious and asked the Prime Minister for his advice. The Prime Minister replied happily, Leave that to me. I will find a solution for you, Duang Gu. Immediately, he went to Nadim's home and plunged his kris into the boy's heart. His blood gushed out, covering the hills and valleys, making them all red. This was how Bukit Mera, or Red Hill, got its name. In turn, the place where the soldiers set up barricades of banana tree trunks will be known as Tanjong Pagar, or the Cape of Fence. Even today, people still talk about Nadim's brilliance and courage, while the Prime Minister is remembered for his treachery.